marijuana in Massachusetts is big business. By one estimate, it's now the state's largest agricultural crop, even surpassing our iconic cranberries. But a plant disease once found primarily out west is now showing up in pot plants here. And that's raising concerns about how that could affect the local harvest. We make both topicals and tincture products. So topicals meaning that you put them on top of your skin. Profound Naturals makes a full line of cannabis infused products. These ones are you're supposed to put them you know in your body so you can either put them under your tongue, you can put them in your drink. You All of these items require access to a steady stream of high quality pot plants. Hoplite and viroid has been an issue in many different cannabis cultivation facilities. This plant disease is spreading across the country and it's now in Massachusetts. It's definitely on Dr. Riley Kirk's mind. She's the cannabis research scientist for Real Isolates in Beverly. The issue with hoplite and viroid is it can affect the plant's potency, it can stunt the growth of the plant, and eventually it can even change the genetic makeup of the plant. Hop latent viroid presents a huge challenge to growers. It's hard to detect visually before it's too late and it spreads easily. We really want to use molecular tests to tell very early on if we can detect that virus um, before it gets too late and we say, oh, our plants are stunted or we see the visual um, aspects of the plants wilting and, and causing damage from that virus. It's potentially decimating for the growers. It's a threat to their livelihood, you know, and especially in a time of recession, they're not all swimming in cash. Dr. Benjamin Kaplan is an expert on medical marijuana. He says Massachusetts consumers can still have confidence in what's produced locally because of the state's strict regulations. The standards for what people can put in their bodies in cannabis is more strict than the OSHA standards of what you can have in a building that we work at. Mm -hmm. Massachusetts goes that much farther. Mm -hmm. They're ridiculous. And honestly, it might be it might be overboard, mm. but when I consume a cannabis product from Massachusetts, boy do I know I'm safe. Well, the stakes are high across the country to contain the spread of this virus. According to one trade publication, marijuana is now the largest cash crop in Alaska and New Jersey as well as Massachusetts. 716 right now. Let me take you out for a live look here at the Zakem Bridge Lever Connector. Again, we have that beautiful glow overhead right now. Traffic doing fantastically out there this morning. So if you have somewhere to be, well, you are in luck, my friends. You don't need to build in a whole lot of extra time, even on the expressway. You really don't need it. You're just making great progress as you're heading towards Boston. Whole map looks nice and green. So I do want to pass along some uh, commuter rail information. We have delays in the past 10 minutes on the Fairmont Providence Stoughton line. Check on those trains. Certainly I thought I saw something for Haverhill too, so let me throw that in just in case. As for my traffic notes in Andover, we have those ramp closures again, the 495-93 interchange from 8 a.m. to, uh, I'm sorry, 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. Also, bridge work happening in Fall River on Route 6 over 195. Those will both go through Friday. Let me send you over to Sherry right now. Sherry, I'm looking forward to this nice day today. Yeah, you've